Like, I'm not seeing that. Like, besides the fact that every map have a, like low ground uh, main base. But this is what is happening. So, Mr. Devil and Mr. Gonish are trying to play. <coughs> but now we are going directly to the second match of today. Terror, Gosu from Peru, Kingdom, Gosu from USA. The hope of Terra and the hope of Protoss, who will win? Go, 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 and don't go anywhere. We are starting. Terror versus Kingdom. Okay, it takes me a while to set it up. That's why when I'm co-casting with someone, I am a little bit... Okay, I'm a little bit absent at the beginning because there are, there are a lot of things I need to do. Pozdrów Szymona, Banjor, jak masz... Pozdrowienia dla Szymona wielkie. Where is Karolcia? Karolcia unfortunately is, is sick and she is in another room. She is trying to recover. GP 10 and 80 1080 thank you for the follow and welcome to the bombastic family where everything can happen and I wanted to say to you that uh, this tournament is sponsored by Blizzard so don't forget to go to them and forgot for their support this season and also the sixth season so if you didn't start start practicing, you can go and play some Brood War because there will be a lot of a lot more tournaments in future. I mean, next season for sure, maybe some more. So it's worth playing right now, Brood War. If you're not very good, we are also having Chobo League. Mr. Vima, both players decided to smoke weed while playing. Yeah, but that's good that they are high, not extra high. <laughs> Alexander Pioneer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to welcome to the Bombastic family. And Terror already is starting to mine with one SCV, so it I assume it will be relatively faster expansion. <clears throat> I'm curious what Mr. Kingdom will do mm, because. I don't know if it's a correct word, but I would call him underdog in this group. I mean, he, he, the, like Terror, Gornish and Devold are three beasts, which which are definitely super Gosu players and hard to beat. And 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 Mr. Kingdom showed some extremely good games to us in the round of 24, and he needs to deliver also in this group. And I'm very curious what he will show to us. Yeah, some tea, so tea, 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 tea with lemon tea and burgers. I think I, I can make for her some lemon tea and some soup. It's also good for for being sick. Sun Storky, I don't know where they are practicing. I think I think they are practicing on ladder normally. There is also like from good Terrans, there is also Marvin Koget. Cryok. So there is a lot of go uh, gargoyle. A lot of Gosutarians. And 
a lot of marines from terror i would call but second gateway from um so kingdom showed is oh also spx of course how could i forget mr spx showed some incredibly good games in in our last group of terrans so yeah thank you mr vima for being here So double gateways into fast observatory it's like kingdom is preparing himself against um against some kind of double factory vultures or, or i don't know what to think but it will be relatively dangerous push two tanks plus eight marines is 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 relatively uh, strong strong force at fifth minute there will be like five dragoons to counter that and and as a kingdom i would like to stay in front of terror base and try to poke it try to uh, to fire to this army using the dragon range because now when he will be forced to the to the lines to the ropes it will be much harder for him to micro this way and there is terror already coming and he needs to be careful in the same time we are seeing that terror is taking expansion he is mining the front in, in case of dark templar so he looks like he is prepared for everything there is Observer coming, so... Oh, very nice macro from Mr. Kingdom! Now he will be able to kill them all! Oh! Whoa! That's... Good, I would call! I think he could have, like, lost maybe two more, two less dragons, but he have Observer with that, so he is definitely fine. So thanks to this Observer, he will not be locked over here. But now the props are dying and <clears throat> Tego is a master of harassment. Five, six props. Oh, oh, my eyes. Ah, my eyes. It's too much damage for fifth, sixth minute. Tego already mining from his expansion, so he was able to deal damage. Kill probes, kill units, and make expansion at the same time. This is how good Terror is. This he is a beast. Some turrets. I believe they are here just to prevent uh, Kingdom from scouting because because there is like no shuttle and also terror don't know that there is no shuttle so it's it's always good just to like thanks to these two turrets you will be able to hide how many factories there are and and kingdom might have a problem with adjusting to that because now terror could decide to make four more factories and 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 go for it oh but it will not stop mr kingdom <laughs> this is how you do it so very good observer pilot and two more expansions from kingdom this is a good call i like it a lot he lost so many probes that i think he needs to risk somewhere and this is a good risk i would take the same risk as him especially that we are seeing armory from uh, from terror it it means that that he will try to like aim into this timing where where he is like coming out with with a whole limit with two one or maybe maybe some timing with an one oh upgrade but look at that already upgrade spinning and some more probes are being transferred i would like to see some pylon walls maybe because terror is known for his incredibly good harassment and now of course he's not having so many vultures to use it but soon he will probably have some forces to to harass the protoss and it's always good to be prepared in every position because the vultures are incredibly fast so command center from terror but kingdom already mining and i really like it that he's he's producing probes in every in every nexus he knows that his economy um, was behind from the most part of this game and still i think 
but Tego is not having like too much of NSCVs. But also like it's it's a healthy number. Uh, in at least at least in the main base he will have some SCVs to transfer, so it's a healthy amount. And thanks to this observer, Kingdom knows that this there will be four factories. Oh, he's not seeing this this starport. So two scans just to see if there are some carriers, if there is Citadel of Adun, what should I as expect? Terror is thinking. Elkman, welcome to Bombastic Family, thank you for the follow. So four factories Terran against six gateways Protoss, it's not bad for Protoss. Mm, I think he stopped the pro production for now. <clears throat> and we are not seeing any stargates so his plan will be just to crush terror with uh, with a simple army with uh, with dragons and zealot i think maybe he will add some some high templars it will be very late arbiter tech i really like the scouting of, of a protoss but on the other hand, Terran is playing the games he wants to play. It's he's not being disrupted. He's playing whatever he wants. He will probably add like few more factories right now. Second armory, uh, because the the science facility is also at the end, just to make the second upgrade. Oh, and Kingdom deci is deciding to go for attack. There will be like only three tanks over here. So if he would have some speed lots, and he has it, it might be dangerous. But oh, there will be wall in. So now I, I don't recommend going and, and trying to kill this expansion. Oh, look at that. These two STVs. I'm sure these are here for factories. He, he just didn't have time to click it. Yeah, more factories, more macro. Fort base from Kingdom. So he, he don't want to st sit behind. And I really like that he's still adding he's still adding more probes because he will have to transfer something to this base if he wants it uh, to be going. And this wall in is, is is really smart from um, from Terror. He will be safe from this position. On the other hand, if Kingdom would decide to go from this position, he would have time to to, to siege mode to to get a best position best possible best possible position for these tanks. Look at the supplies. This is this is pretty big advantage for a Protoss, so he is definitely not behind. I thought after losing these probes uh, at the beginning, uh, we will see whole game him being like around the same limit as a Terran, but he's macroing very nicely. I I like it a lot. And and Terror, of course, he's going for this 2-1 timing, which I think will be hard to pull uh, without stasis, without Arbiter. I don't know what are there will be one O upgrade probably for a Protoss at the time of attack. And oh, this is a lot of this is a lot of super depots. So I think now Kingdom even can take this base. It's protected by the supply depots. <clears throat> Finally, Kingdom coming to the side to the terror side of the map. I don't know if it happened for the whole game once until now sniping the observer very very nicely done by terror oh some harassment we are having some harassment excuse me but i think i didn't miss anything or maybe four props oh <gasps> this is a traitor tree look at i didn't know like you could put lurker here and kill like 12 cannons No cannons from Kingdom. Look how big of a cojones he have. He's not afraid of a. Uh, he's not afraid of any kind of uh, vulture run buys. Oh, and now they, we will have that what we was waiting for for the whole game, which is the final battle, the final engagement. One one and two one will be there in few seconds, I'm sure. 
So it's a 14 minute, almost whole, whole limit. 14 million, it it's even sounds good. And there will be like pure gateway army from a, from a Protoss. Oh, and now he's being lost. Oh, but this flank will be... Look at that. Oh, I want to... Look at that, it's too big. Like, I would like to see him... I would like him... If he wants to win this battle, if he wants to win this game, he should have like... I think... 10 more gateways, but now we are having beautiful flank from Kingdom. So many Zealots, so many Dragoons are connecting. But we need to remember this is 2-1 Terran army. The Zealots are dying right now. Dragon wants to connect Dragoons with the Siege Mode tanks, but this is just too much tanks to fight. And Terror feel very, very strong push. He's pushing back the, the Protoss army. Yes, Mr. AL, uh, this is life. This is live game. As you are seeing, I can see the progress of the upgrades. Oh, they are bitter now, but at least the Zealots will have a chance to connect with these tanks. No, again, Mr. Kingdom is being pushed back. Hey, that's why you are not making only gateway units against Terran in the in the in the mid game. Mr. Honku, they are finishing right now because we, we ended on 1-0 score. Oh, I think... Like, this is a lot of tanks, but not too many vultures. And a lot of units like right now. Now the supply depots could, could, be, could be dead. And really nice connections from Mr. Kingdom. He's getting on top of this tank, so he's slowly trying to kill this army of a Terran. But look at that, 150 against against 100 supplies. For, so it's terrible for Protoss. And the only the best thing for him right now is that Tegor is messing up his 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 army sending path. Kingdom added some more gateways, he's making one more Arbiter. There should be like, yeah, there is energy for Stasis. But Terror was not wasting any time, he made at least this mineral only. It's like six mineral patches, but it's always some income. And yeah, I don't... Like, if there would be carriers with these supplies, there would be a hope for Protoss, but now I think... I don't want to like kill the spirit, but I think this will be the final attack. I just don't see how how Protoss could deal with it. Oh, and even the EMP, so Terra is just too good. And Kingdom, after a very good game, he's tapping out. Hmm. Yeah, really, really uh, nice game from both players. Mm, I think um, now, oh, so the score is 1-0. And the winner is Terror. So Terror is winning one first game. And the second game will be on in the way of a, an Eddie. Relatively, relatively mm, new map. I think it was there around, but it wasn't very famous until now. And now it's a ladder map, so everyone knows it. So we can go. Oh, let me make myself beautiful for you. And now I can invite you for the game number two between Terror and Kingdom. We are going directly to this game. Four.
So, in the way of an eddy, I don't know what to think about this map. The split map scenario is like, there is nothing in the middle, like, you can split the map relatively easy. And there are so many bases on this map. Mm, I don't know if it's possible for me to reveal, reveal an entire map. No, it's not, I think. So, uh, Mr. Manor like uh, a G6. Mm, można ściągnąć ze strony Blizzarda, tylko musisz się zalogować. Yeah, after that I will cast the games Devil versus Gornish. <laughs> Mr. AL, I am not Terror's twin. Per Terror is from Peru and I'm from Poland. Both countries starting with a P, but if I would be Terror's twin, I would be much better in StarCraft. Probably. So maybe I, this is the second minute of a game. Uh, now we will find like now we will have the, the the most important decisions of both players. Like for example, if Terror will start, like he already pulled two STVs from his from his gas, so he's not going for Starp or, or something. Where Kingdom is. We will see if he will go for fast robotics facility or maybe one gateway expansion. I don't know. We saw in the previous game that he was trying to defend the um, the, the push, the, the early push from uh, from Terror with two gates. It was very hard. So now with one gate, it would be even harder. Oh, he was trying to block the scouting probe. Now I think he will get all the information. He will even see that there is one STV in the gas. Yeah, Mr. Al. Unfortunately, I'm not family. I would like to visit South America someday, so I would have like to have family there. But in the future, with Carolcha, we will visit South America. And I don't know if she is watching, but she should. Okay, I mean, I mean, she should. <laughs> I'm not forcing her, but she said she said that she will be watching. I hope she's feeling good now. I mean, probably not the best she could, but and now Kingdom already mm, mining gas with two probes. I didn't know that there is some kind of trick just to gather money for the Nexus. Nexus. Oh, and Terror will scout the probe. He will even scout the Nexus. So. That's good for him. And it will be probably the similar push as we had in the previous game. I think Kingdom already got some conclusion after after the last game, if it's the correct way I'm saying it. I mean, he understood that he should... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh this is a lot of damage. I'm I'm saying that really it's a lot of damage, but I'm happy that he's standing on, in, on top of Terror's natural, because still he will have some time to poke this army while he's escaping. And this is only one gateway, so robotics facility is coming, but this STV will scout everything. Ooh, this is a precious scout. After seeing this robotic space, I thought it will be possible to hold it, but it's not. And now we will have three dragoons against two tanks and eight marines. Hmm. 
Yeah, it will be very, very dangerous for Mr. Kingdom. He needs to be careful. Oh, he's target firing the tank. But one and a half Dragoon, I would call it, died already. Two more gateways are coming, but I think it will be too late. He will try to catch the reinforcements with the two Dragoons, but how he will defend his main and natural? Yeah, this is just too dangerous. If he would hold this Nexus, it would be like, look how smart strategy from Tego is. He was applying so much pressure and if he wouldn't kill this Nexus, it, it wouldn't be terrible for him, but because his command center is almost done. Oh, and now... I mean, I mean... Oh, hard for Protoss fans, like all the Protoss fa uh, fans, like you should cover your eyes right now because... It will be harder and harder. Of course, there is robotics facility, so so we might see a shuttle and and bomb drop of some zealots. But when the gateways will fall, like for example, like these two gateways, when they will fall, out of what Mr. Kingdom will start producing his units, I don't know. And even a bunker, and there will be even a turret, I think now. So, oh, that might work. Oh, almost! And only one tank left. So that's a very technical push. And now the observer will die. It will be terrible for Kingdom. Now no vision. Ugh. Ugh. He's trying so hard. I really like it. And he's catching a lot of reinforcements. But now these two tanks... We'll be able to clear the Dragoons. Look, they are abusing them. Oh, there will be Bunker here. GG from Mr. Kingdom. Uh, that's good that he was fighting. I'm... Uh...